So I'm here today to possibly take in a magpie nest. Magpies have been building in here. A pre-existing nest that's up in the spruce tree here. We don't know if there's eggs in there or not yet. If there's no eggs, uh, then we're going to take it out. If there is eggs, then we're definitely going to leave it. Let Mother Nature and the magpies do what they want. Get their job done, make their babies, and then uh, when the uh, chicks have left the nest, then we'll come back and take it out. Uh, so yeah, keep you posted, let you know what I find up there. Bring the phone up with me, we'll take a picture even. Let you know if I find any eggs, show you what I find. And hopefully we'll get this nest out of here. Dream deal. Yeah, up in the tree here. It's actually a multi-level nest. There's this one here. And then there's one up higher we'll inspect as well to see if there's any bedding made in there. So we'll take a quick peek and we'll see if there's any eggs. Zero eggs. Fantastic on this level. Check the next one. Found a second nest, second bedding uh, in the top section of this uh, magpie nest here. So we're gonna take a look. And she is clean as well. Right, we'll take her out. Smart little birds here. They use what looks like to me green ash branches or all this thatch that I've been pulling out here. But when you get to the actual bedding of the nest, if you can see this, so they use mud, right? This is mud. And then they've wrapped spruce branches and they actually grabbed the thinner, more bendable branches and they've swirled it around in there, around and around and around. So it's a different composition for the nest. And then the house or the walls or the structure that blocks the wind and the rain. And the sun is uh, made of the bigger sticks, kind of in a woven basket uh, function there. But yeah, this is more like a bowl. Very interesting. Smart little birds. Smart birds. Big one. Bye bye. Put them at the top of this tree just for a nice view. Alright, there's the tippy top right there. But hoping that my microphone picks up, there's the sound of the wind through these trees from this height. We're in a quieter neighborhood, so there's so much traffic. I'm sure to listen for a minute. Hope you guys can get to hear what I hear every day in climbing trees. Got the nest out. Made a mess on the ground. Spruce needles in my underwear. Day in the life of an arborist. Eh? Always a fun time in any tree. It's what I love to do. It's what I hope I can keep doing for many, many more years. Alright, do the cleanup. And then this job is done. Dream the out.